Hello, so continuing on this weekly contest 168, the first problem, find numbers with even um, number of digits. So essentially the problem, <coughs> this is an easy one, it says um, given an array nums of integers when a return, how many of them contain an even number of digits? Essentially how many of these numbers um, contain an even number of digits? So basically this one has three numbers, that's not even, we don't count it, this one has two. It's even, so we count it. This one has one, no, we don't count it. One, we don't count it. Four, yes. So it's very straightforward. The bounds are, we have at most 500 numbers in the array, and the number can go up to uh, 10 to the power of five, essentially. So pretty straightforward. Um, let's code it up. Um, so the first thing we are going to do is just um, brute forcing this, just doing the, the simplest solution. So and then we will go for every number in the array, right? And then we'll just convert it to a string and count, uh, check the length, right? So just convert it to a string. That will give us a string so that we can get the length and check if it's even. If it is, increment the result and then return it at the end. So very straightforward. Okay, looks good. Let's submit. <coughs> so it passes. Um, we can write this slightly differently in using list comprehensions. So instead of doing this entire thing, we can just, in one line with list comprehension, we can use just sum here. So we want to count it if, if it verifies the condition that it's even. So we say one if the length of a state our a string of a uh, the same way we did in the for loop this is equal to zero but what is a so we say for a in nums and only if this is true and so that will count will give us one only if this is true otherwise it won't if it won't put one here and at the end we just want to get all of them so we just we add them up so here that's what I'm doing with some here so this will give us the exact same um, result So now we submit and we get the, um, so it passes. Um, a slightly different way we can do this problem instead of converting to a string, well, we know that the bounds are at most, the number is at most 10 to the power of five, right? So that means I'll keep this sum here, but so at most um, 10 to the power of five, right? So. What do we know? We know that numbers that are between, so instead of doing this if here, so we know that it has an even number of digits if it's in the range 10 all the way to, all the way to 99, right? And so to get all the way to 99 with the, this range, we just go all the way to 100. So from 10 to 99, it's two digits, so that's even. Or if A is in the range, so anything that is three digits, we don't count it, so we skip that. But those that are four digits, that even, that's even, so that starts from 10 to the power of three, because that's three zeros and one one, so it's four digits, all the way until we get to um, five digits. And so that means basically all the way until 999, nine, nine, four nines here. And with the range here to get just to four nines there, we can just go to 10 to the power of four. And then our A itself is the last one because 10 to the power of five is one and then five zeros. So that's six digits, so that's even. So it's either that or 10 to the power of five, right? <coughs> um, and anything like anything with, so starting from 10 to the power of 4, this here, that's 5 digits, so it's odd all the way until 10 to the power of 5, all the way until like 9 here, that's 5 digits, so we don't want to include that, right? And so that's that. this will give us the same result. Um, 
So just using the bounds, the constraint and the problem. Um, those are always useful to read here. Of course, in an interview, <laughs> they are not that useful, but uh, yeah. Or at least not that they are not useful in interview, just they don't usually give them in an interview. Um, so let's submit. Um, yeah, so that passes. I think that's pretty much it for this problem. It's a pretty easy problem. Um, yeah, so um, if you um, like this video, please like and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.